There's no boundary within genres and within choices of songs. We're just like, this sounds really cool. We're not gonna stick to any kind of structure that maybe is like common format for pop music, which I think it's as a whole changing. I think we're trying to just really push into that idea, of just challenging any norms that we've kind of seen around so far. <laughs> Me and Josh kind of intersected at interesting points of our lives. I was at a place where I had taken songwriting a bit more seriously for the past um, couple of years and was um, renting studio time to kind of work on that. And he was um, renting studio time as well after me working on his 50 song challenge. About four months ago, I called myself a songwriter, but I really wasn't writing all that much. So I gave myself the challenge, write 50 songs in the course of seven months. Yeah, I think the, the band started from, like in a lot of ways from that 50 song project that was just an exercise to get better at writing songs. The band name Half Alive came from a film class that I was in and we were studying Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung. They both had similar theories of this tension um, pulling humanity one way or another, one into life and, and one into death and leaving humanity in a state of being half alive. So I heard Half Alive from the first fall music video. When I saw the music video, I was like, okay, this band has really cool songs, really cool music videos, and they're like good people. And that was like kind of like the, the mesh I was looking for. These words are supposed to be simple, but it seems that's not the case. Josh knew Jay through Jay's brother, who is our choreographer for our music videos and live performances. Josh was like, hey, do you know this guy, Jay Johnson? I was like, yeah, like I love Jay. And then ended up doing the second music video with them, which they already recorded the song, but we all just had a similar vision from the beginning. So it was like the most organic thing that was like beautifully crafted for us, I think. Dance and music go so well together, especially the music that we're making, which has like a groove and we want people to, to move to it and to feel it in their body and to express that. Jaw Collective is Jordan Johnson and Aiden Carberry. We decided to have him choreograph some stuff for Awake at Night, that was our second music video. And it turned out really great. And so used that sort of energy and, and decided to make a whole music video based off of it, which ended up being Still Feel. When I'm first from myself. Still Feel is when all three of us did our first bits of collaboration on a song. They still did a lot of the work prior to me, but that was the first one that we really put together together. So the Still Feel process was, we want to do something that's really kind of different than what we've done before. So Josh was like, let's try it in like a one take. The Still Feel visual remix, that was our label and that was our managers that came up with that idea. Mm -hmm. um, like, what if we did something where it was fan-based and they sent in their own version of the song, remade it? Because our friends were already doing that on their own. So like, what if we just kind of took what they were already doing, carry that momentum, make it into something? And we're like, that seems cool. This is a great one. This is one of the ones that we chose for the visual remix. It's so impressive. The color changes and all the movement, like they, they nailed it. I want to know where this is, but they yeah. know the dance perfectly. Right, that's my favorite part. Which is so funny. <laughs> right when we started a song, we have a pretty long conversation of like, what do we want to write about? We kind of wrote down like a, a list of themes that we feel that are important for us that we want to share with people that listen. So we always will kind of check this list and be like, okay, what song have we not written about or what do we want to go deeper in? What is somebody like of us personally going through or something that we've learned a bit about? Arrow started as a sermon at church. It was just an incredible message and story about being okay when things are going really fast and understanding that the present is a scary place to be, but it's it's okay to like be right exactly where you are. And it's also the most difficult thing um, to not be focused on the future or the past. That message struck home um, for me. And it was like song number five, honestly, in the, in the 50 Song Project. Like there's a story, Aiden, uh, one of the choreographers, he broke his leg or his elbow or something. So all he could do was kind of lay down and he got obsessed with doing finger things because that's all he could do for like a summer. Yeah. So he's so good at doing these weird finger things. So I think there's just a lot of their thing that they just love hands. I'm like, that's cool. I would love to legitimately add that kind of stuff to our, our things. Like those small little animated things I think are so cool. I'm all about that.
Runaway is released before the album, partly because we just recorded it first. And so we had it, we knew it was special, and we had our label backing us up and our management backing us up and saying, this is a good song, we should do something for it. And so we visually went into yet again, just like unexplored territory. Like we've done something a bit more like band focused with Awake at Night. We did something really dance focused in one shot. We did something like very aesthetically like Wes Anderson sort of driven on Arrow. Let's do something completely different again and go like very story based. I've been searching, nothing's working. I've been tripping, no one's perfect. Chasing no, not yet. I feel like is a continuation of the band name. It's this tension between like two things existing in the same place. Now Not Yet is describing this middle ground in between looking up into the heavens and being pulled down to the earth. Even biblically, like bringing us into the things of the spirit, into the things of the flesh. And it's this thin space in between that, that humanity is gets to take place in. And so the phrasing Now Not Yet continues to speak into the tension of just being alive on earth as a human. I've been learning something bigger Expectation, feet were failing I found blessings flowing from the side of heaven I think it's pretty incredible how, like, looking at where I was in high school and college and looking at where we are now, so much has happened in the last year. Yeah, I love that we're finally in place, I think, as, like, creatives that we've wanted to probably a majority of our lives have the complete freedom just to like have both like the financial security as well as just do whatever we want to do. Another thing that I feel is really affirming and exciting is that people not only are like infected and engaged with it but are inspired to create something themselves. From the start the word has been intentional. Like that's that's just what we've tried to focus on like what feels authentic to us and feels like it can resonate with other people. To be YouTube Music's Artist on the Rise has been a huge honor for us. I think we've been fans of the platform in general, watch videos on it the whole time, have admired music videos and been privileged to share our own videos on it. So to have them see what we've been creating and be like, we, we believe in what you're doing, we want to give you a bigger platform to keep doing that and do that well and be able to create as kind of like a living, I think is a dream of all of ours. So it's been kind of breathtaking in a way. Standing on the stage with just a meter and force the face to out the car. Searching for a new escape. I scan the exits that embrace an easy out.